Hello everyone, welcome back to my Rasoi and today is the special is since the Holi is approaching it's a festival so if some of you are not aware of what Holi is about so let me get briefly into that so it's a festival of colors which is celebrated throughout India and across the globe wherever the peoples of Indian heritage or roots are so it has with different colors and there are a lot of sweet and sour recipes and one of them the most which is related to this festival is Kujia so that's what is today's special so I'm going to make Kujia but it's gonna be not the traditional like the deep fried one but I'm going to to make baked kushia so for that we'll just quickly introduce the ingredients and there is another one more thing I'm going to make two kinds of so one with totally with the dry fruits and the other one with mawa so mawa is like um, milk solids so there are variety like some comes in milk powder form but this is kind of in solids so we'll take that little milk solids called mawa and we'll make the kujia so let's just get started so for making kujia i have all the ingredients here and since we are doing baked ones so i'm gonna make two types of so one will be of mawa and the other will be of dry fruits or you can say dry nuts so for that i have here mawa and this is green cardamom powder I just crushed it at home and this is all purpose flour and this is chiroli and this I'm gonna split half and half between two types of kuchias and this is clarified butter which I'm gonna put while I'm making dough and here is sugar and then almond chips pistachio raisins chopped and this is of course coconut powder so the base of my dry fruit kuchia will be coconut so we'll first start with making our dough so i have here all-purpose flour and i'm gonna put like a little bit of this clarified butter in here not too much just for like the soft touch and then i have here lukewarm water so make sure before you start making the this clarified butter should be mixed properly and then slowly sprinkle a little bit of water because we need a little bit like tight dough so slowly sprinkle and then make the dough so now my dough is done it's soft and tighter and smooth you have to knead it properly make sure and then i'm going to just cover this with a moist paper towel you can use a moist cloth and the next step would be getting ready our dry fruits filling uh, here i have uh, it's uh, my wok is really hard and what i'm going to do is just quickly put this grated coconut and i just going to just a little bit stir this one and the purpose for doing this is so that my <coughs> um doesn't get like have like a shelf more shelf life so it's just done see it was really hot i just put and then stirred it's done and next thing i'm going to just dry roast is these almond chips and the same thing the reason is to increase the shelf life for so both these two almond chips and coconut is dry roasted and then almost half of this chiroli is going to go here and half is for the other filling and then here is raisins and then pistachio and i'm gonna put a uh, like one spoon of sugar so 
I usually use the brown sugar. You can use white. If you... And then this dry fruit gujia filling is ready. And now we'll work on the mawa one. So for next filling of mawa gujia, I'll put this much clarified butter. And then this mawa already has ghee but in order to like evenly roast them and make sure you keep moving like stirring this mawa otherwise it's gonna burn so just keep doing this and then i'll show you how it it's supposed to look after a little bit of frying uh, as you can see my mama started turning slightly pink and now it's done i'm going to turn off the gas and before i mix any dry fruit or anything in this mama may i have to make sure it's cooled down completely so i'm gonna just leave it here to cool down and in meanwhile we can work on probably not we i can work on my dry fruit kuchia so the first thing i'm going to do is just make the balls of this stuff and it should be like you see you buy the cotton balls in the market so it should be like this size like this And if you want like really small then it's up to you so nicely and i already put like a little bit of clarified butter so there is no need of like dry powder and when you are rolling this make sure the center is not very thin and there should not be like of lap over or anything in this sheet so really so i rolled my round sheet and you can put it here and put also and here i have all purpose flour in a little bit of water so that's for sticking and I'm going to just use like this and put my filling here like this. Don't put too much so that it can be closed properly. And like this and then slowly just so I just close like this and there are molds also available so you can put this whole sheet in the mold and then put it there and put the filling and the other thing is if you are doing by hand either you can use a fork to make the design like this that looks good and if you are using mold then it's good but there is and then put it here and make sure you use like a wet cloth so that they didn't get dry and the another one i'm going to show you a really cool trick so mostly i make them with that way so here again i'm going to put this up so approximately like two spoons i'm putting it depends upon what size of gujia you want and then i'm just going to slowly doing this and here 
make sure you close it properly this is more important like closing properly when you are like deep frying when we are gonna bake so here I'm gonna just make the design like this I like this way much better so it's easy if you can see just pinch flip pinch flip pinch flip pinch, flip and then last one stick properly so I like this way more better and uh, if you want I can show you the third way but with that third one we are gonna do on the mava gujia and I'll get back to you when I am done with this all like the dry fruit one and by that time my mama will be cool down and then we'll work on the mama one so all my dry fruits kujias are ready and you remember i showed you you can do it this way or the other way and whatever material i had the filling i made up like end up making nine of these so while i was making this my mawa is also cooled down and in this I'm going to add this surely and then I have here this green cardamom powder and then of course I'm going to add this brown sugar usually when it comes in contact of air it started getting like solid so that's why I have to use hands to so you can add up sugar I mean, if you have like the crystal one then you can just make it powder and then mix it to this and sh sugar should be like as per your taste and I just like the chorales in here because if I'm gonna put the coconut that's gonna reduce the shelf life for the mawa Kujias, so I'm not gonna add any other dry fruit and already I have the only dry fruit ones also here so just taste before you start making so just make sure it's sweet enough as per your taste now it's ready and then I'll make the mawa gujia the similar way I'm going to make these mawa ones also so you can make whatever size you want and then I'm still going to put the sticky water I made this one to seal this and then slowly and then make sure you properly like this seal them perfect and then if you want to use like a mold or cutter you can do i'm just going to do it this traditional way and the last one or one stroke make sure you press it properly so i'm gonna make the rest of them and then we're gonna bake them and now all the gujas are ready and the last part is I have here melted clarified butter and what I'm going to do is I just have to brush them with this clarified butter and make sure you do the front and the back both sides and in the meanwhile my oven is getting preheated so I'm going to finish rest of them and then I'll put them in the oven. Uh, my oven is preheated. I put the 325 degrees Fahrenheit and but if you have the Celsius one then you can put 165 to 70 degrees Celsius and there goes all the kuchias in here and we'll check back in five minutes so i have baked them for 
25 minutes and you can see after baking there is no difference they are nicely golden color and <clears throat> the other thing is when you fry them there is a possibility if they break the whole oil gets spoiled but with the baking they are healthy and neat and clean I like this way and then there is one more step which is uh, you can do that like the mawa ones you can also sugar coat them but I'm gonna keep them like this and then the <coughs> dry fruits one I'm going to sugar coat them so the next step will be making sugar syrup and coating them so for sugar syrup I have here and I'm going to add very little water and when it will melt I'm going to add this a little bit threads of saffron here and I'll be right back with you when my sugar syrup is ready so my sugar syrup is ready and it's like one thread see one thread and then turn off the gas and then slowly put these puchiyas in there and you can see saffron here slowly keep turning until the sugar syrup starts thickening So it has been like two minutes and I am just keep mixing and you can see the sugar syrup is now thick and after like one more minute I am going to take them out. So my kujiyas are ready and first I am going to try this dry fruit one. See there are I toasted the coconut and then that toastness is giving very nice taste to this pudya and this one if you remember I just sugar coated them in sugar syrup and the other one the mava one I didn't sugar coat it but if you like them in sugar syrup you can certainly do that another thing is if you want to increase this shelf life then you should make the sugar syrup uh, like between one and a half to two threads and if you just want like for a week then one thread or close to one thread is okay in the sugar syrup let me try this mawa one see how good there are certain recipes in that you mix the mawa with semolina which is rava and I like the mawa one just with mawa and they both came really good and I don't feel any difference between like either you deep fry or bake and I feel like this is the more healthier version so still if you want to enjoy gujiyas and you are kind of thinking oh they are deep fried then certainly this recipe is the best one to try and let me take one more bite mm -hmm. now it's time to say happy holy goodbye see you on next video and don't forget like subscribe and share thanks for watching